just a citizen out here trying to make sure everybody all right while you in your car. Somebody, yeah, I'm doing the report. Okay? Yeah, that's cool. We'll see what Chief Meadows say about that, Chief. Okay, yeah, okay. yeah. No, we got doing that. You can stop walking up on me, sir. You, you can stop walking up on me. You know you can. You can stop. Hey, 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 hey! Get out! Get out! Get out! Bro. It's Dirty Laundry Media on the check-in. Thanks for tuning in. If you haven't already subscribed, please hit that subscribe button and uh, smash that like button for me, would you? Thank you. Activist Marcus Coleman of South Fulton, Georgia, was violently attacked and assaulted by South Fulton Deputy Officer Solomon Muhammad on Friday, January 29th. The incident took place Friday afternoon along a stretch of Roosevelt Highway after a traffic accident had occurred. The encounter began when Marcus Coleman, founder of Save Ourselves, a grassroots organization focusing on community outreach and family support services, approached the deputy to inquire about the lack of traffic control in the aftermath of a serious motor vehicle accident. After rolling down his passenger side window and hearing Coleman's concerns about a lack of traffic control, the deputy promptly rolled his window back up without comment. Coleman proceeded to move away from the patrol car, continuing to record and give commentary on the events unfolding when Officer Muhammad exited his patrol vehicle and aggressively approached Mr. Coleman. Coleman backed away in an effort to create social distance between himself and the unmasked officer. After putting a mask on, the officer then tells Coleman that he needs to get back in his vehicle, to which Coleman declines. As the two seem to be done with the exchange, moving away from one another, Coleman remarks that he will see what Chief Meadows has to say about this, at which point Officer Muhammad becomes unhinged and things go left. Hey, tell me, tell me why ain't nobody directing traffic. Like you got this, you got this long ass line of cars right here on, uh, on Roosevelt. You got an officer sitting right here. Terrible ass accident. But not one person directing traffic. Huh. Now officers need to be directing traffic, no? So I got an officer that I just asked how come nobody's directing traffic. This horrific accident scene. The brother rolls his window up on me. You got cars lined up and the brother's chilling in his squad car. Squad car number 125. Rolled his window up on me. I'm sure it could assist y'all if the officer was directing some traffic, wouldn't it? <laughs> I said, I'm sure it'd be helpful if somebody was directing traffic for y'all, right? Hey, bro. Yeah. 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 Brother, you can't tell me that you that this shouldn't be someone directing traffic. Come on, brother. That, okay? Come on, brother. Okay. Look, you said your piece. I see what side you, you okay. go. Do your work, sir. Do your work. All right. Do your work. You don't need you out here. You don't know what you need, brother. I'm, I'm just a citizen out here trying to make sure everybody all right while you in your car. Somebody, yeah, I'm doing the report. Yeah, that's cool. We'll see what Chief Meadows say about that, Chief. Okay. Yeah, yeah. 
No, we got doing that. You can stop walking up on me, sir. You can stop walking up on me. You know you can. You can stop. Hey, 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 hey! Get out! Get out! Get out! Get out. Brother. Get brother, what you doing to me, bro? Get out, man. Are you get serious, brother? Get out! You gonna tase me, bro? Get out! Get out!